In this video, we will explore the reason for why we filter the x-ray beam and filtrations effect on the finished image. Most general purpose x-ray machines are required by state law to have a minimum of 2.5 millimeters of filtration in their tube collimator assemblies. Why is that? To understand the need for filtration, we first must understand a basic characteristic of all X-ray beams. When the kilovoltage is selected, we select the peak kilovoltage that the X-ray machine will produce. For this example, let's set a peak KV on a hypothetical X-ray machine. On this generator, the major KV selector is set to 70 and the minor selector is set to 4 for a peak KV of 74. The green bar below represents a range of energies the X-ray machine actually produces. This X-ray machine will generate a spectrum of energies ranging from 0 to 74 kilovolts. This is what the term peak means in the term kilovoltage peak. When you select KVP, you select the highest energy the machine will produce, not the only energy the machine produces. Since X-ray machines produce a range of photon energies, lower energy photons have a high likelihood of being absorbed by the patient's tissues, and few of any contribute to the image. For this example, the red arrow encompasses the energies from 0 to 39 kilovolts. Due to their low energy, these photons have little hope of penetrating the patient or reaching the image detector. The remaining energies, encompassed by the blue arrow, from 474 will have enough energy to significantly penetrate the patient's tissues and contribute to image formation. At the point where these two arrows meet is where 2.5 millimeters of aluminum equivalent material will stop most of the low energy rays from exiting the tube collimator assembly and allow most of the higher energy x-rays to pass. So the function of the beam filter is to eliminate low energy x-ray photons, thereby reducing patient dose. Let's take a look at the problem from a larger perspective. Here we have an x-ray tube, a patient, an image receptor. The x-ray beam is emitted from the tube, and the beam is a mixture of high energy photons, which are blue, and, and low energy photons, which are red. The red rays have a lower energy. You will notice that they are absorbed in the patient's tissues. Few of any penetrate to the image receptor. The blue rays have a higher energy and therefore a greater, like and therefore a greater likelihood of penetrating the patient's tissues and contributing to image formation. To our system, we will add a simple 2.5 millimeter sheet of aluminum to the sample machine between the patient and the tube. Note what happens. The lower energy rays, which are red, are stopped by the filter and the higher energy rays, blue, can pass and contribute to image formation. So far, the question of why do we filter is straightforward. To achieve a dose reduction for our patient with little change to image quality, adding a filter to the beam makes the beam more homogeneous and more of the remaining rays contribute to image formation. With that said, note that any material that interposes the beam will act as a filter and must be taken into account when in a filtering consideration. Here is a common x-ray tube, and the beam must traverse three items before it leaves the tube. First, the glass envelope. 
The envelope consists of Pyrex glass. Next comes the cooling oil. And finally, the tube port, which is made of plastic. These three items are classed as inherent filtration and produce filtration equivalent to about one, mil one millimeter of aluminum. Next comes the items outside the x-ray tube, and they include the collimator mirror. This mirror is located in the collimator and reflects the light out of the collimator to help the radiographer judge the beam position and size. Additionally, there is an exit port on the collimator that has a, cross, has a crosshair pattern scribed on it. This helps the radiographer judge the location and position of the central ray. These two items contribute about 0.5 millimeters worth of aluminum equivalent filtration to the X-ray tube collimator system. Current and added filters add up to about 1.5 millimeters of aluminum equivalent filtration. So about one millimeter of additional filtration is added to the collimator to bring the total filtration to 2.5 millimeters of aluminum which is required by state law. So what is the function of a filter? All X-ray tubes produce photons with energies that range from zero to a selected maximum KV. Lower energy X-ray photons are mostly absorbed in the patient's tissues and can to radiation dose in the patient, having little effect on the recorded image. These low energy photons can be effectively stopped by 2.5 millimeters of aluminum equivalent material. The effect of the beam filter is not very noticeable on a final image. The addition of a filter will decrease density slightly. Some of the higher energy rays will interact with the filter material and be stopped before reaching the image receptor. Adding a filter theoretically increases slightly by reducing fog production. This will increase contrast resolution in digital radiography systems. It is not only important that we understand why we filter, but also the components of the tube and collimator that contribute to filtration. First, we have the materials that are inherent in the construction of the X-ray tube. These are the glass envelope, the cooling oil that surrounds, oil that surrounds the X-ray tube, and finally, the tube port. These three elements add up to about one millimeter of aluminum equivalent filtration. Next, the filtration that exists outside the x-ray tube, and these consist of the collimator mirror and the collimator, collimator port. These two items contribute about 0.5 millimeters of aluminum equivalent filtration. Finally, a one millimeter plate of aluminum is added to bring the total filtration to a grand total of 2.5 millimeters of filtration. To sum up what was presented, beam filters basically remove low energy X-ray photons from the X-ray beam. Limiting the X-ray beam to higher energy photons increases beam quality. More photons contribute to image formation, less to, cause to causing damage in the patient's tissues. Less damage to the patient tissues means a decrease in patient radiation dose for every exposure. Addition of a beam filter will cause a slight reduction in radiation reaching the image receptor and a slight reduction in density in the final image. Low energy X-ray photons are also more likely to be absorbed in the patient's tissues and are more likely to scatter. 
Since a filter reduces low energy photons, one can surmise the less scatter production will reduce fog reaching the image receptor. Less fog means a radical increase in contrast of the final image. For digital systems, higher contrast on the receptor means a higher contrast resolution in the displayed image. Thank you for your kind attention.